I'm an avid traveler, CEO of BuddhaVideos.com, and lifelong student of the martial arts, who strives to know more about the competitors and instructors who are revolutionizing the jiu-jitsu lifestyle. Join me in my journey as I train, learn, and get rolled up. In the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu lightweight division, when you think of guys with incredible guards, there's one name that immediately comes to mind, Mishael Lange. After getting his black belt in 2009 from Rubens Cabrinha Charles, Lange has consistently been one of the top three in the world at his weight class. Representing Team Alliance, Lange lives and trains in Brazil, and today he's in Los Angeles getting ready for the BJJ World Championships. Now, let's get a closer look at Lange and his impassable guard. So tell me, how did you get started in Jiu-Jitsu? Uh, I started in Jiu-Jitsu in 2002. Before the Jiu-Jitsu, I trained Capoeira for a long time. And I met Cobrinha in Capoeira. Mm. And after that, he, he got his purple belt in Jiu-Jitsu and started to teach Jiu-Jitsu in, in São Carlos, the city uh, where I was born. And he said for me, oh, let's go train Jiu-Jitsu. And I think about, oh, Cobrinha, come on, man train jiu-jitsu and grab another guy, man. I, I think that I don't like. No, let's go try. And I, I started in, in jiu-jitsu in 2002. I trained one time in a week. After that, two times. And in this moment, I love jiu-jitsu is my life. Everything that I do, I think about in jiu-jitsu. When I go to it, I think about this is good to fire, this is not good to fire, so jiu-jitsu now is my life. You, know? mm -hmm. you mentioned capoeira. Corinna is the only other guy that I know that has done capoeira for a long time. How did that help your jiu-jitsu? So in, in my opinion, capoeira is the base in jiu-jitsu because you have one good flexibility, you have one good base, you are conditioned because in capoeira you work all your body, you know, you work your legs, that's very important in the guard, for example, the, flexibili the flexibility in the guard is very important. So, in my opinion, capoeira is the base of jiu-jitsu and helped me a lot in everything that I use in jiu-jitsu. Mm. Do you still train capoeira? In the, right now, in this moment, I just train jiu-jitsu, you know, because, uh, you know, in, in big tournaments, it's very important you train hard, so sometimes I train jiu-jitsu three, four times per day and I don't have time to train capoeira. Mm -hmm. And you have a brother who's also very well known in the jiu-jitsu world. Have you, do you guys train a lot together? Yes, right now he lives with me in Sao Paulo. Uh, before he trained in Sao Carlos, in my city, and he just trained with blue and white belts. But right now he lives with me, have one good support, and the Fabius Gin is the best place on the world to train. We have many talented guys, many world champions. So now he have one good uh, support, and I think he, he's a, he will be a great black belt in the future. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you and your brother spar hard? <laughs> Man, my brother, in my opinion, he's much better than me. You know, having nice techniques uh, in the train. I train so hard with him. Uh, sometimes I win, sometimes he win, and. In the tournaments, I watch his fight, and I don't understand, oh, what techniques that you use? And he go and teach me, he's hmm. improved a lot. You know? Really? So who teaches who more? Do you teach your brother more, or does he teach you more? And right now, I, I think that I teach a little bit more because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm black belt, I have a little bit more experience, so I try to pass my brother all my experience in tournaments because everybody know in the tournament, you need to, to be, uh, you need to have one good techniques, one good condition, but your experience in, in the competition is very important. Mm -hmm. So the tournament is coming right up. The world, 2011 Jiu Jitsu World Championships are a week and a half away. Who do you think is your, gonna be your biggest challenge in your weight class? We have men, many big names in, in the lightweight. Uh, all the year, we have many talented guys. Uh, in this tournament, we have Celso Vinicius, is a big name, JT Torres, Lucas Lepre, uh, Tanquinho, Leandro Lowe. We have many big names, you know, 
but I'm ready to fight. I'm very happy for uh, very happy to be here in, in Cobrinhas Gym. He's my first teacher and he teach me everything that I know about the Jiu-Jitsu, so I'm very happy and I'm ready to fight. Mm -hmm. So in the World Championships, throughout all your belt ranks, you have five gold medals. Five gold medals. So what's next? What keeps you pushing for more? I, when I start my year, I, forgot, I forget everything that happened before, and I try to uh, get all the, ti all the titles again, you know. Uh, I fight six Mundials, six words, and I won five and lost one in semi final in my first year in black belt. And now I, I, I want to get my one, one more title in black belt. But I love Jiu Jitsu, I love fight, you know. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's next in your future? Do you have any plans to open up your own school or anything? Yes, I have one big dream uh, to move to US like a Cobrinha and make one big gym. I want to have my students, you know, uh, teach jiu-jitsu. I know that in more three or four years I need to stop to fight. You know, I have 26 years old now. But my dream, I, I want to have one, one gym and have my students. Mm -hmm. You're known for having an impassable guard. And of course there's a lot of guys with incredible guards, but for some reason, it's very difficult to pass your guard. Besides techniques, is there any concepts or philosophy that you have that helps you develop that kind of guard? Uh, so, Cobrinha passed my guard all the time, you know, <laughs> so it's not impossible. But uh, he teach me everything that I know in the spider guard. When I said for you before, the capoeira help a lot because you can use your flexibility. So, I think don't have mistakes, it's just you train hard, you know, uh, before seven, eight years ago, everybody preferred play on top. Okay, now, right now, uh, that have many guys that want to like, uh, want to play one bottle. But I don't. I think that don't have mistake. You need train hard. You need keep going every time, every day. Go to the gym, put your gi, train hard. Don't have secret. Mm -hmm. What does training hard mean to you? Does it mean going 100% every time? Yes, 100% In training? Time. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you never take it easy with your partners? You're always going like it's tournament style? Well, one, one week before the tournament, we train a little bit slow, mm -hmm. but uh, b before that, is 100% every time. Does that ever lead to injuries, training so hard? Yes, it's a little bit danger. Mm -hmm. Before, one week before, I like to train just uh, uh, with light weight mm -hmm. or feather weight. I don't like to, to train with big guys before the tournament mm -hmm. because sometimes it's a little bit danger, you know, to hurt and things, and I prefer to train just with small guy. Okay. So again, Michel Lange is known for his impassable guard. And uh, Michel, it seems like having an impassable guard, an important part, is having a dynamic open guard. What's very important, uh, you know about the spider guard. We have many different situations that can happen. For example, my opponent wants to pass my guard standing, both knee on the floor, or one knee on the floor, one foot on the floor, okay? So I go show you different situations and let's go work in all the situations that can happen. Great. Okay, first situation, standing, please. Okay, go to start in the spider guard, one foot on top his biceps and my other foot on top the hips, okay? Now, what's very important? I need to escape my foot and move my hips. My hip is very important, the spider guide. I need to use my hips all the time, okay? So, I move my hip, keep his hand between my legs. Now I need to pass my leg over, but one important detail, many guys when pass his leg over, he pass and use his foot behind his triceps. But now, I don't have one good control. Posture up, Jake. Look, I don't have one good control. So, the most important detail in these techniques, when I pass my leg over, it's very important I straight my leg and use my foot behind his back. Now, come back my hip, posture up, Jake. No way. It's impossible. I have one good control in these situations, okay? Now, it's very easy to sweep back and 
get them out. Okay, one foot on top of the biceps, other foot on top of the hip. Move my hips, okay? Pass my leg over and stretch and use my foot behind his back, okay? Come back my hips. The pressure here is Break incredible. Break his post. Yes, this is perfect to sweep back. Break his posture. Now, sweep back and get them out. Great. Okay, now in the second, second techniques, let's go change the situation. Now my opponent won't pass my guard and use his bolster on the floor, okay? This is very normal when I go to fight with big guys. He want to use his pressure on top, okay? Like this, very good, very good. Want to put pressure on my knee to walk around and pass my guard, okay? So when he start put pressure down, I need to escape my foot and use my toes on the floor and move my hips one more time to the other side now, okay? Now I need to switch my grip and grip behind his triceps. Break his grip, stretch my leg, pass my leg behind his neck and amber. It's very important when you go past your leg, Use our hips up, okay? One more time, pressure, toes on the floor, move my hip, change my grip, break, pass my leg, and hips up. Awesome. Okay, then last, last one. Now, another situations, one knee on the floor, and one foot on the floor. You can step on the floor, please. Great. One more time in the spider guard. Now I go change this foot and use one hook behind his knee, okay? Like this. When I change my foot and use my hooks behind his knee, I need to turn a little bit my hip like this, all right? Now, jiu-jitsu is action and reaction. So when I want to balance my opponent to sweep, he wants to defense, so he go step on the floor. Okay, now it's impossible for me to sweep my opponent because he have one good base. Now I need to sit up, okay, control his leg, change my grip, my other grip, grip his collar, put pressure down, and sweep. Mm -hmm. One more time. Spider guard, first, Important detail, I go change my foot, use one hook behind his knee, and turn my hip a little bit. Now I want to sweep my opponent, but he wants to defend, so when I balance my opponent, he step on the floor. And it's impossible for me to sweep in this way. Sit up, grip his leg, grip his sleeve, my other hand, collar, pressure down, and Okay. So starting from here? Yes, by the guard. Escape this foot first and move your hips. Escape. Great. Pass your leg over. The most important detail is strat. Foot behind my back. Come back your hips. Break my posture. Great. Sweep back. Nice. Very good. That's a smooth technique. Good job. <laughs> One more time. Normal speed. Nice. Wow, oh, black belt. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is on the knees. Knees on the floor. Push one. One. On my biceps, one foot. And other foot, hip. Very good. Now I want to put pressure. Toes on the floor. Move your hips to the other side. Move, move. Great. But bring your knee for your chest. Great. No, 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 no. Just change your grip behind my triceps. No, no. Keep this grip inside your leg. 
between her legs, mm. but over my sh my arm. There Break. There Break. Nice. That's her left. Go. Hips up. Great. I've seen Cabrinha do this many times. Really? <laughs> this way. Great. Last one. Last one. One on the other bar. Biceps. No, no, no. It is on the biceps and here. Now we go use this foot and use one hook behind my leg. Turn your hip. Up. Nice. Now you go sweep, balance, high defense, sit up. Great, but grip, grip my, my sleeve. Nice. It's very important you grip my sleeve because sometimes if you don't grip, you just grip my leg and want sweep, sweep. Mm -hmm. The guy put his hand on the floor and the fence. Right. Okay? And it's not necessary to change our base. Okay. Okay? Look, one more time. When you go, sit up. Step. One. Okay. Two. Okay, you yeah. don't need to change your, your base. Okay. Hook, turn our hips, perfect. Balance, one, sit up, great, nice, nice, okay. one more time, yep. Those are, great, those are great techniques. Going into this role, I knew that, uh, of course, his guard was going to be the hardest thing. And right off the bat, I almost passed, and I couldn't believe it. But, of course, he's so flexible, he just rolls around and recovers guard. Just like Cobrinha, uh, when I've rolled with him, I was amazed at Lange's flexibility. Um, Lange's uh, instructor is, is, of course, Cobrinha. And both of those guys started in, in Capoeira, which has a lot of... Uh, flexible dance-like movements so uh, yeah both these guys the guard is so flexible Lange is in the lightweight division which is uh, a little heavier than me um, it's probably in the mid, mid or high 160 maybe close 170 pounds and uh, but he's in very good shape uh, and very flexible like I said With world champion competitors like this, uh, you know, nothing I do is going to surprise him. So you can see how relaxed he is. And uh, got me a little crucifix here. It always amazes me to see how relaxed the guys are at this level. And the only way to get there is by endless training and drilling like these guys do. It's not uncommon for him to train seven, eight hours a day. Lange got his black belt in 2009, and uh, in that year, he won the Pan, the Worlds, and the Europeans, if I'm not mistaken. So, made a big, uh, made a big scene. And each year, he's been uh, in the top three. How relaxed he is in his, in his guard, going from De La Hiva straight to the Plata, straight to the Flood Lock. Lange's uh, brother is also a competitor, and uh, not too long after the filming, a couple weeks after we filmed this, his brother got his black belt. So uh, soon we're going to see both brothers in action at the black belt level. There's not many, uh, not many brothers uh, actively competing anymore at the black belt level. We got the Mendes brothers and then uh, Saul and Shanji. They're pretty, uh, Saul is pretty much retired. That'll be exciting to see them both together. Again, this was filmed right before the 2011 Worlds. And uh, there's a 
huge Alliance team there training, getting ready for competition. Of course, Alliance is a, a team that's really focused on competition. And they always do very well at the competitive level, bringing in a lot of guys from, from Sao Paulo, Brazil. guys at this level they're not uh, using energy unnecessarily it's just using just just what he needs to control me and to, to lead me into a, a bad position some guys you feel a lot of strength with Lang yeah I didn't feel that he was overpowering but I felt that he was very dynamic, very flexible, always aware of all the options and places he could go. forcing one technique. I'd feel like he would go for something like there, he's going for the arm triangle, and if he couldn't get it, he would just give it up and go for something else. I, I admire that, that flexibility, not just forcing a particular move. Cobrinha is really big on drilling. You can tell these guys have just been in this, these same positions so many times, not just in sparring, but drilling over and over and over. Very difficult to surprise a guy like that. my position once I would try to turtle out of side control he'd be on the other side I could just never get off my back like most black belts Michelle Lang is so smooth once I thought I passed his guard I see his foot sliding in front of me and he's so flexible excellent at recomposing and uh, he never spent much time in side control. Once, I, once he would pass, he'd be on my back in a second. And once he got his grips for the choke, usually that was the end. So that's another thing that I noticed is really talented guys, they don't have to adjust their grips very much. Usually they get it, and then it's just a matter of time before, before it slides out. So another incredible role. Michelle Lange's a man. You just can't stop when you have one good position for you. For example, on the back, on the mouth, side control, but this is very important. You need attack all the time, the both sides. Very good game, and nice guard, you know, the flip, and remember, your hip in spider guard is very important. If you move your hips all the time, it's impossible for your opponent to pass your guard. But if you stop, it's more easy because he walk around. Mm -hmm. So just train, exercise hip, okay, flexibility, that's very important. And just move your hips. This exercise is really good okay. for you train your hips. Okay. And very good game. Cool. Was a big pleasure for me. I'm very happy to be here. Okay, thank you for the opportunity and show a little bit my jiu-jitsu. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, <laughs> We'll see you at your new school sometime. Oh, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> thank you. Man. See you at the Worlds in a week and a half. See you. <laughs> Rolling, 
I start pulling it up and aiming chest to chest. 